guys welcome to another day of vlogmas of me being or attempting to be consistent hopefully this lasts more than a week but let's see how it goes so today is a very busy day at the salon we have a couple of hairstyles brewing and i'm going to be showing you guys just a little teensy weeny bit of what was going on i tried so hard to get content today because um gosh okay so we had a couple of um hairstyles happening all our chairs were filled including the ones at the back so today i had to step in and actually you know do some hairstyles with the girls today um as i mentioned previously i typically like to stay behind the scenes and just do more of like the management and marketing and content role in the salon but typically on days like this when we're overbooked i have to step in and um assist the girls with a style and the style that i took on for the day was rope twist um okay so we had two rope twists going on so the one that were blow drying her hair she was getting a medium sized rope twist and then the lady at the far far end of the salon her she was getting small mid back rope twist so that's what you see us doing we had a team of three on her hair and then some other girls joining to finish so probably a total of maybe four five at some point at the most um and then for the team of the medium sized rope twist that i was doing i had two other girls with me starting and then another girl so a total of four girls um two that were finishing for me i was the only one starting the two ladies were finished for me and then i had another stylist that was trimming and you know preparing the hair for you know the finishing and uh, for this we're just doing a box braids um this beautiful lady here came with her daughter to get their braids done um they i think yeah i think the color we're using is like a i believe this is like a 39 if i'm not mistaken it's like a wine but not like a loud wine color it was like a deep wine color it's so pretty it complemented her skin so well um and she was so lovely to us such a kind lady uh so really enjoyed having them at the salon so much fun um okay so my favorite hairstyle for today you guys know i always have my um favorites um so the ones that were my two favorites were the stitch braids that we did and i'll show you guys in a little bit later so we did two stitch braids um one was black and another one was purple now i couldn't decide which one my favorite was um in terms of like the color because honestly i would have gone either way but they were both very very beautiful very lovely and i really enjoyed watching those services being done and i'll show you guys in a bit so for this small twist that we're doing here uh, i couldn't get the finished result because the footage i had wasn't clear and i only had the footage for instagram so maybe i'll upload the final result for instagram but i wasn't able to get the footage for um the youtube content So this is me here doing the starting for the rope twist as you guys i've done this tutorial so many times if you guys are you know consistent viewers of my content you've probably seen the rope twist tutorial a gazillion times on my channel or how i started so make sure you refer back to those videos if you actually are looking to learn it i found that a lot of stylists in nigeria don't really know how to do rope twist um but that's something i've been trying um to train my staff on so i have um i have one two staff that are very good at rope twists they can start and then um everybody else can just do the normal twists but yeah i'm really trying to get them to learn uh rope twists because it's becoming quite popular a lot of people are requesting it but not a lot of people do it in nigeria so if you're a stylist in lagos go and learn it because it's such a good skill to have because like I said, not everybody does it, so it's always something to have in your back pocket that could stand you, make you stand out from the rest. Okay, so this is the stitch braids I was telling you guys about. This is the first one. This is the one that was done with black hair. And then I'll show you guys shortly the one that was done with purple hair. So you guys can let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite. Um, and yeah, 
they both look super neat very pretty only difference is like the color and uh, if you're more of a colored babe you probably choose the purple if you're more of a simple chic babe you probably pick the black So my most favorite thing about my stylist is how they pay attention to details um, when they're braiding hair. They're super, super like, on like ugh, so detailed. Like for instance, now you have a client with a different color of braiding hair as opposed to their natural hair, and they right right off the bat they know okay we have to tuck this hair in because you don't want it to show. And that's not a skill that a lot of people have funny enough right very simple but sometimes those little attention to details can make or break a hairstyle so it's really nice to see them incorporating and actually paying attention to the to all those little details because it does impact the final look of our you know services and, and hairstyles so it's very important and i'm very appreciative that they do that So I was reading the comments last night. I always read the comments, by the way. Uh, I was reading some of the comments in my videos from the Vlogmas, and some of you guys were saying, "Oh, um, you want me to do like more of like a business behind the scene, like how to run a you know salon business, all that good stuff." And if that's something you guys are seriously interested in, um, I'm willing to sit down and just talk to you guys more on that. Um, I'm not a expert in this. Don't let me fool you. <laughs> I'm not an expert in this. I'm still figuring things out as I go, trying to see what works and what doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I'm still, this is what my six months into the hair or the salon business. And I've learned so much. Oh my God. I have learned so much. Um, I've learned so many lessons and I have, yeah, I, I, I feel like for me, okay, there's one, there, there are two things to this, right? There's running a business, a salon business, and then there's running a salon business in Nigeria. They're two very different things, right? So the things that other salon owners would worry about in their salon in the U.S. are not things that I worry about in my salons all the time in Nigeria, vice versa, right? So there's certain things that I worry about on my day-to-day -day that a salon owner in in america is just that's not a problem for them so there are two very different dynamics and if you start getting into the business as aspect of it i feel like most of my challenges comes from the environment that i'm in the country i'm in the economy i'm in so i don't know if you guys would be able to relate um per se because most of my viewers are americans and i know that because of how shocked you guys are when i start talking about currency and and how much we talk you know how much we charge for braids and things like that so like if i do have a business class there's a certain level of um understanding and um openness open-mindedness that i expect from from that discussion else there's literally no need no point because i'm not here to make entertaining content or make my business an entertainment for anyone so that's the only thing that's my only reservation but um i'll keep thinking about it if i can think of a better delivery or input that i have to give you guys or whatever i would come back and i would um i would you know talk about it but let's just see how things go um anyway so we are moving towards the second part of the day where we did other styles and you guys will be seeing that uh, unfold shortly so yeah
so this is the final look for the black sleek um low bun stitch braids that we did at the salon i just loved the finished look so beautiful so clean very simple like sometimes all you need is just a simple bun like none of the extraness like just clean like look at that anyways so that was one of my favorites for the day and um this was also one of my favorites this we're preparing for like a tribal style i think this was like a two-step right so we have the box braids at the bottom and then at the top we had like a cute cornrow design so so neat very pretty hands down a look um i think this look has been done before um i think i've done something similar on my channel but mine was like a middle part or yeah i think so i'm not sure i don't remember it's been it's been y'all it's been a minute okay so but anyways came out so cute and then I'll, I'll be showing you guys what the purple hair looks like in a little bit um to me i love the purple hair because it stands out so if you want a simple look but you still want it to have a bit of pizzazz you know a bit of a personality just throw some colors on it and this is exactly what did it for me the color everything was such a vibe such a look i absolutely loved it And like I said, one thing about my girls, my stylists, is that they're going to tuck your hair in, okay? If you're getting colored braids, you know, that's different from a natural hair color, they're going to tuck it in. Whether it's single braids, whether it's knotless, whether it's cornrows, they're going to tuck it in, okay? So put some respect on their name, okay? It did not come to play. So, yep, they're going to tuck it right in, okay? So this is the final result for the hair, super cute, super slick, very pretty, colorful, complimentary, beautiful, skin tone, amazing, 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 amazing. Um, so now we're moving on towards the last bits of appointment for the day, which was the tribal braids. I'm going to call this tribal braids, right? looks like tribal braids, but it's not really tribal braids, but it's tribal braids, but it's given two step, um, but it's tribal braids. So I'm going to call it tribal braids. Okay, so this is what it's looking like um the girls were rounding up um so this was like i really like this because it was very simple very unexpected i didn't even know they were doing travel braids until they were doing travel braids and i saw i was like oh this actually looks really really cute because i thought it was just going to be box braids all through the hair um so this is like a nice way like if you wanted box braids but still want a bit of cornrow action this is a great way to do it because you're not getting cornrows all through you're just getting it on the crown of your hair and also a great tip if you don't want like your edges pulling this is a great style to have because the cornrows are not going backwards they're going sideways right and they're only about like four in like i think five inches of like your your um what do you call it your crown so it's not like directly on your edges so these are a great style to have um so yeah next time you're thinking of something trying something new to still protect your hairline and things like that i think this this is a great alternative um i always do this when i'm doing like large braids or something
okay so this is what the hair looks like that now that we're done super simple very cute very clean she's gonna throw it around for you guys you know model it for y'all just a little bit yes 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 super cute i absolutely love it one of my favorite for the day and then the last hair we'll be doing today is um this knotless braid um that we did with like a color 33 slash 27 so pretty what a warm golden tone i'll be showing you guys the final look so you guys can um i'll be showing you guys the final result um she didn't really want um her face to show in the video so i didn't get much content um anyways make sure you like thumbs up comment and share and i'll catch you guys in another video have a merry day and god bless and have a happy holiday